Hey there, I'm Michael, and today I'm talking about a little game called Multi-Universum from Board and Dice. So, what is it? Well, if we look at the cover here, we see this weird world, uh, and yeah, it's amazing artwork, but it's not really telling us much about the game. What the game all comes down to is multi-use cards. You see, what has happened is scientists, as they tend to do, have been messing around with things beyond their knowledge that they should not have ever dared touch. They were attempting time travel. Now, they completely failed at that, but what they did do is open portals to other dimensions, which are represented by these beautiful cards here. And these portals are being opened by these transmitters. The aim of the game is to close the portals and learn about the other world. When you close a portal, you get points as given by the portal. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game is going to win because they've learned the most, as scientists only really care about knowledge. But you do need to make sure that you close the portals, otherwise, you know, the whole world might end or something. The way the game works is that you have a hand of three cards, and these cards are these multi-purpose cards, and that's what the game all comes down to, that's what the mechanics of this game revolve around, is these multi-purpose cards and these five locations, which are these transmitters. Now, the interesting thing is, each of these cards, what they can do, differs depending on which location you are at. You see, each card has numbers going from one to five, and these are colour coded with the different transmitters. And each of the five actions is on a different colour for the different cards. So what you can use them for will differ depending on where you are. And one of the things you can use them for if you've got the right card with the right action on the right colour is to move to a different colour. So it's all about how you chain and combine your actions that's really interesting. And you have three actions you can play. Now another thing you can do with these cards is you can make them a tool, which means you put them under your player card here and it's a tool. You use these tools to close the portals and this comes down to symbol matching. The portals have the symbol of the type of tool required to close it. So you're collecting up these tools is one of your actions. You're moving around and closing portals is another action. You can also activate the transmitters. Each transmitter has a different power. It might be shifting the portals around. It might be changing the order of the portals. It could be drawing extra cards. And drawing extra cards is another one of the actions that the basic cards will allow you to do. Another one is to go through the discards and claim a card. At the end of your turn, you then draw back up to three cards. It's then the next player's turn. And you keep playing like this until two of these stacks of portals have been completely emptied, at which point it's the end of the game. Now, you'll get the points as given on the portals, but the portals also have these symbols on, and that represents you getting a set collection aspect. If you get five unique symbols, you get a bunch of points. If you get two of the same symbol, you get a few points. If you get three of the same symbol, you get a bunch of points. And it just comes down to whoever has the most points. So that's a brief overview of the game. What do I think of it? Well, I already said when we talked about the box, it's an absolutely gorgeous game. The cards are gorgeous. Even the transmitters have this lovely detailed artwork on. But beyond that, it's intuitive. The graphic design on the action cards. Okay, the action cards are probably the ugliest part of this game. They're boring, they're drab. But they're so intuitive on the graphic design with the colour coding for the locations, clear way they've laid it out so that when you're holding it in your hand, you cover up the tool, but then the tool's also given on the little action. So they thought about how you're going to hold these cards in your hand as well, which is fantastic. So visually, an amazing game. Component wise, the little meeples are really quite nice and a nice little touch. The cards for what is a card game and the cards being handled a lot are not as high as I would like. You're probably going to want to sleeve this, but if you do, you're probably not going to be able to then fit it in the box very well. So <laughs> there is that to consider. Now, what about the gameplay? This is a game I think is absolutely fantastic, but it can be very prone to analysis paralysis. That whole, oh, I don't know what to do, there's so many different options, because that's the thing. These cards give you so many different options for the way that you combine them. Even though you've only got three cards, it's, well, this one will give me this, this one will give me this, or I could do the tool, or I could do this, or I could do that. There is so much you can do on your turn. 
which is great that it's open like that and makes it really fun to kind of think about. It's, it's like each turn is a little puzzle that you're working out. And that's really enjoyable. But for some people, it will just be too thinky, too hard going for what is, at the end of the day, quite a short little card game. Now, of course, there is a fair amount of luck involved in what you pick up with regards to these cards, but that just makes it interesting, so it means that you're not necessarily going to have exactly what you want, but it's a matter of trying to then, given the luck of the draw of cards, work out what the best course of action is, and that means that there is just the perfect amount of luck to strategy ratio in this for me that there's just enough luck to keep the game fresh every time you play and different every time you play but enough strategy that your decisions are what really are going to make the difference on who wins and who loses another thing worth noting on this is that it can be a very nasty game there are a lot of abilities especially with the transmitter abilities that mess with other people and there's a lot of right well I jump in there and close that portal that you were about to close so there are these nasty moves and that will put a lot of people off it is not a nice game you can just not really use those and a lot of the time it won't be particularly beneficial to but it is an integral part of the game really so it, it definitely is worth noting now what else haven't I talked about I mean replay value is pretty good but, as I say, the randomness of the cards gives good replay value, but eventually you'll get tired of seeing the same artwork, etc. But there is an expansion that's recently come out, and that will help refresh the game really nicely. With regards to scalability, can two play that game? Yes, two can play this game. It works very nicely for two players. What I will say is the more players you have, the quicker the game sort of goes. The, the, high, the lower each person's score is anyway. And there's a lot more kind of conflict over those portals and much harder to get the sets and things like that. But that's to be expected. It just makes it a nastier, tougher game with the more players. But it does work very well with both player numbers and the total gameplay time is about the same. If you're playing with people who struggle with decisions, as I already said, the game can have a problem with analysis paralysis, people not really knowing what to do. And without just telling people what to do on their turns, it's you can't really teach them these are the good things to do so it can be very hard to overcome that and if you're playing with more people there's more chance that you've got someone like that which will slow the game down which can be a shame but overall i think multi-universum a lovely game absolutely gorgeous in a fantastic little package that's just this puzzle every turn that i really enjoy and highly recommend people try okay Thanks for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.